Right, we're on. I'm going to show you how to lower your scores when playing stroke play golf. Do you ever wonder why in match play you play so well? You have so many great holes and so many birdies or so many opportunities, yet in stroke play you struggle. I'm going to go and play four holes at Cadrona. We're going to play the first four holes. I'm going to show you a way and you can make your scores lower by playing stroke play with a sort of psychological twist chucked in there. This should be good fun. I've been looking forward to making this video for a long time. Today's the day and hopefully we can lower your golf scores. Oh, before we go, remember and subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification button and also the thumbs up button. That helps me, it makes it all worthwhile and that's why I make these videos because you guys do that. Thank you. So shooting lower scores today, I'm going to give you a way in which we can do that. Obviously that would be ideal. Starting off par five. For this subject or for this video, my handicap is obviously zero because I play off scratch. And as we get into this, we'll evolve and you'll understand exactly how I'm going to lower my score playing off scratch. So driver, par five, 80%, 80% swing for driver. 80% swing for driver. That's going to find fairways. Especially in this wind. Good. Do you ever find that when you play match play, you play well? You get lots of birdies, the pressure seems to be off. If you have a bad shot, it doesn't really matter. That's what we're on about today. Today you have to play against the golf course. When playing stroke play, play against the golf course. Visualise, so I'm off scratch, I get zero shots. But when I play and I have a scorecard in my hand, I try and visualise somebody else playing the golf course. Now I know I've got to get a five here for a half or a four to win the hole on this par five. But I visualise the other player playing the hole. So I'm playing against the golf course, but fictitiously or in my mind, I am playing against another golfer. So this par five I can't reach in two, I'm going to play a six iron for my second shot. Now I have to, I don't care about what this guy down here is doing. I have to forget about him just now. I'm going to play my shot and let him worry about what he's doing. But of course, there is another player on this hole with me. So I'm playing six iron short. Leave myself a three shot hole, obviously. Oh, it's absolutely pure. And that guy there, I'll let him worry about what he's doing. Right, I've hit two good shots to here. Driver six iron. I've left myself 120 into the wind, so it's probably playing about... Well, I've got 9 iron, which normally goes 150. This guy up here, good looking guy. I know he's there in two good shots as well. He also plays off scratch. But I'm not bothered about what he does. I'm just going to play my shot, let him do his thing. 150, 9 iron at the wind. Okay, it's all right, pushed it a little bit right, but it's front edge of the green. I've no control over what this guy does here, but we'll watch and let him do his thing. Not really too fussed about how he plays this, to be honest. Honestly, I know he's making par, but I'm, it's good to visualise where he is. When I'm playing stroke play, I can now, uh, I can now just play a match play game of golf. So visualising that second player, or that player that is actually the golf course, it's a fantastic way of playing match play, but with a scorecard in your hand. I've let him putt first, even though he's closer. He's two putted. So now I know I've got a putt for the hole. I'm aware that my guy's got his, got his par. So I get two putts for the half or one for the hole. So this for the hole. This to go one up. Oh, is that okay? He's away at the tee already. <laughs> One thing you need to do is just take care though with your short putts. Obviously there's no gimme putts, so you need to make sure you work on that. So your little putts from two feet and in, work hard on them. So you get the idea there how we can make match play become your stroke play game. It's so much more relaxed. You know, as I mentioned on that fairway down there, when you've hit a bad shot or had a bad hole, you can get over it with match play. 
that is achievable with stroke play it's a much harder thing to do so trying to make your stroke play games become match play games i am all square second tee my god it is so windy imagine you've got a stroke imagine i was stroking here would i take driver i'd use a different tee than that anyway <laughs> would i take driver maybe not i've got a stroke here so i might so that means i can take a bogey I can make bogey for a half and still play to my handicap. So I might not take driver here. Unfortunately, I don't have a stroke. So I'm just going to hit my driver at 80% and get up there. 80% driver for me finds fairways. How do I swing at 80%? I have to take the backswing a lot slower. I slow down my backswing to give me a chance to just cool everything down. Take away, smooth, 80%. Smooth, smooth, that is fantastic. <laughs> yep, we're up, that is a long way up there today. 80% driver, less spin on it, obviously in the wind, if I can keep the spin off the golf ball, then it's not gonna, if I don't catch it perfectly, the axis of the golf ball is gonna tilt and that spin's gonna take it sideways, whichever way I, I tilt the axis. Obviously with less spin on the golf ball, the less chance there is of missing targets, so I just reduce it. But a fairway finder for me, really is 80% tee shot. Okay, 55 yards left. Very good tee shot. This is a good birdie opportunity, this hole. Uh, 55 yards, 54 degrees. This is a very good birdie opportunity. I am, um, we know that, we know he's gonna make par. We know my opponent is gonna make his par today. And every day I play him. But I also have to make this more realistic by expecting him to make the odd birdie, to apply a little bit of pressure to my golf game. So as I say, I'm only 55 yards to go, so I, I'm, I'm expecting him over there, wherever he is, or visualising him over there, to put his shot stiff. So let's imagine he's put it stiff, he's played a great wedge from over there, and he's put it pretty close to the hole, let's say three or four feet. So now there's pressure on me to match up with that. 55 yards. Okay, that looks pretty handy. A little bit left, not a super strike, but you know, pressure was on. I've played a close one, but I think it's close anyway. And I've got a chance to half and birdie, assuming he holds his putt. So up we come, second hole, a lot of pressure was applied. Here we go. So I have to assume he's at similar distance as well. And I've put mine into that three feet. Fantastic. Okay, so this is for a half. Classic match play situation. Putt for a half. Downhill, a little bit slippy. Kevin, nah. Yay! <laughs> right, so I'm, I'm looking at that now thinking, okay, I've halved the hole in three. We're halved in birdies, that's brilliant. So, we're all square, but psychologically or mentally, I am actually one up on the course today. So I'm one under my handicap, my handicap being scratch. So I'm now one under par. Okay, does that apply pressure to me in stroke play when I'm Got a card in my hand? Absolutely, of course it does. I'm under par, let's not ruin this good round. However, if I think about it as the match play game that we're actually playing, I'm just all square. We have to hole in three, we're all square. I'm no worse off, I'm no better off than I was on the tee or the last hole. We're just all square in a game of match play. But secretly I'm one under and happy. <laughs> the sun's come out as well. Okay, we've got 429 yards downwind. Downwind 429, not taking driver. I'm not a huge fan of hitting driver downwind. To get the ball in the air, the ball has to spin. So it's got backspin, which gives it lift. Now, if I've got downwind and down behind me, so behind, wind from behind and coming downwards, the spin is then knocked off by the wind. So therefore it quite often drops out the sky. So with little loft on the driver, it's hard to keep that ball up in the air. If I add a club with more loft, so my two hybrid, which is 17 degrees of loft, had to check that. 
it's obviously going to apply more backspin, so therefore that spin is going to fight against the wind a lot better. So there's more chance of the golf ball staying in the air. Not many people know that. Loads of other people do though. So we know our guy's hit the fairway because he's off scratch. He's a good golfer. He's hit fairway. That's fine. I am just playing a game of match playing. I'm all square. Hybrid, not so much 80%. More 90%. Want to add the spin on here. I'm going to get this ball up and away. Two hybrid, pick my target. Match all square. Oh, yes. Yes. That's just ran past his ball. Confidence is high. So I birdied the last hole. That means obviously I'm all square because I made him birdie as well. But generally I would be one up there. So confidence would be high, I'd be one up, just a game of match play. Easy peasy. If I birdie this one, I might go two up, but actually it'd be one up because I made him birdie it as well, just to apply pressure for the sake of this video. But if you were playing this and you were under your handicap just now like I am, you'd be one up. You'd just be playing a game of match play, one up, which means I can bogey this and just be all square. That's fine. It's okay. Confidence is high. It's all about taking the pressure off your stroke play game. I know you've got the scorecard in your hand, but when you mark it down, that's the range just started. When you mark it down, mark it as if you're playing match play as well. So put his score down in one box and your score down in the other box. One up, all square, one down. If you're one down, you know you're over par, that's fine. Then at least at the end of the game, you know how you've assessed your game against the player, against the course. But it's just a game of match play. Just a boring game of match play that there's no pressure. Stress-free golf. Want more of that in my life. Right, that was an exceptional tee shot downwind. 87 yards left. It's a very hard shot this because the ridge goes up. So I'm just going to try and take a pitching wedge and land it short of the green to jump up. This is risky, very risky. I've actually hit the tee shot too well. My man's on the green, he's sitting there, 10 feet. Good shot by the way. Hey, brilliant. Little wedge, land short, let it kick up. Come on Steve, he's on the green, he's good. We're all square. Landed short, hit the upslope, it's good. 10, 12 feet right, talked my way into it. <laughs> he was on the green, he'd hit a good shot. I had to step up and play that. Did my homework, understood what I was going to do and just executed it. Worst case scenario, what happens? I lose the hole to a par. Psychologically, that is me back to level par. That's okay. But I'm not going one down to this guy. So I've played that very well actually. Where am I? Yeah, about 15 feet or so. Right of the pin. This putt to go one up. He parred. He just leapt out, made par, which leaves me this to go one up. Come on, Steve. Get in. There we go. One up, two under par, playing match play. I would normally be two up, obviously, if we're playing the course, but I gave the guy the birdie on the second, just to add a little bit of pressure. Happy with that, it's so easy, so stress-free. So this is my fourth and final hole. It's 459 yards, par four. But because the last one at 429, I think it was, played so short, I've decided to hit six iron from the tee to make it more of a challenge. Not that I'm saying it's too easy, but it is playing short downwind these two holes, so. We'll just pop six iron. Let's just pop six iron off that. So four, five, nine. A good long par four. Six iron. Superb. Really good. New set of irons in the bag just now. Been trying them out. Vega. 
liking them a lot. Got them on eBay. Right, I've got miles to go. I've got 252 to go to the pin. I'm going to land it a lot shorter than that though, so I'm going to try and carry it about 200 yards, maybe not even that, 180 or so. So again, six irons, probably a good club to do if I can get it running. So obviously taking the terrain into play here, I can land this short and let it run. The, um, the fact I'm this far back on a par four doesn't really phase me because the guy I'm playing against, this drive, is in those trees over there. He's found it, but he's in those trees, so the pressure's off again. As long as I can get front edge of the green somewhere, running up there, I'll probably be all right. I'm actually going to change the five iron. Yeah, let's go five iron, make sure we definitely get there. He's in the trees, so the pressure's off. I need to apply pressure to him by finding the front of this green. That is a great strike. Oh, it may have just caught the bunker. Not sure if it carried over the right-hand bunker there. But I struck it very, very well. Ah, hindsight now, six iron to the front of the green would have been a safer play. He's in the trees now thinking, well, Steve's popped himself in the bunker. I've got a chance. Classic match play mistake. But we learned from that. Six iron to the front edge would have been ideal. That would have put the pressure on him. He's now hacked this out the rough. He's got himself about a 40 yard shot to the pin, so there's a chance he's going up and down this, but we know he's going up and down this. And I am bunker, I may just be over the bunker, but I should have had a match play situation there. I should have played the front edge with a safe club, even 7 iron, 10 yards short would have been fine if he's in the rough. Then from there and up and down, but hey, we're on, it's fine. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, 15 feet to go. I am secretly, well, I am all square. This is for a half. His was close enough, so I gave him it. Got this for a half. I'm one up. Secretly two under because I gave him the birdie on the second. This for a half. Okay, got it past the hole, had to do that for a half. Obviously keep working on short putts because there's no gimmies in this game. Oh, so I've lost the hole. I lost it to a par, I bogeyed that. So I'm back to one under par, level on the match, job's good. So the match is all square. That's the main focus of this. Obviously I'm mentioning the stroke play side of things because we're marking a card in the back of our mind, but we're just playing match play. So against that guy there, he, he played a great, made a great four. Ah yeah, unfortunately could not up and down from the bunker. Tough bunker shot that. But the six iron off the tee made it a little bit more relevant, I guess, because of the wind. But I hope that has helped when you play stroke play to lower your scores, to shoot lower scores. Play match play. Play match play against the course. If your handicap's 12, you've got 12 shots, so use them. Absolutely use them, but visualise that other golfer. Visualise the player, visualise the course playing the golf course. And I'll see you in my next video.